Welcome to Inside Real Estate with real estate expert Terry Peranich here on Fuse Logic TV. And today I'm going to have some fun because I think that we can talk about real estate, but the thing is, you, your story, your system, everything you've done takes us beyond that. I want to talk about keys to success. And I think this is, whether you're, you're a person trying to sell your home or you're a person that's at work, you're thinking, what kinds of things can I do that can benefit, uh, that, can be, that can be taken from your process? And so let's talk about your process and the keys to success, and not so much just about real estate, but literally that can be applied in, in anyone's life. If well, you... well, Mike, well, thank you for that. I, I uh, you know, really, I'm a firm believer in goal setting. And I mean, goal setting has been beaten to death for centuries. Um, but, you know, when I was a young man, uh, you know, I, I didn't have an education. And, uh, you know, I... I sought out successful people. When I was, you know, 18, 19 years old, I started to read books on motivation and goal setting. And at that time, it was the Zig Ziglar's and the Tom Hopkins and my uh, all-time favorite, which is with me every single day, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and and what I started to truly understand was defining a purpose. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so many people are out there uh, maybe stuck in their jobs or stuck in a certain grind of life, I will call it. Um, and, and you know what? That's okay because you have to be somewhere to start somewhere. Yeah. So, um, and, and then, you know, you have to start to identify, you know, how you want to look, let's say, or how you want to feel. And in order to do that, often, you know, you have to associate enough pain uh, in your present situation, you know, to get to, to, you know, to take that next step. But early in my career, um, in my business career, I realized that, I wanted to be successful. I did not want to work for somebody else. Uh, I didn't want somebody, you know, telling me what to do. So that was my first key, uh, you know, definitiveness of purpose and defining that purpose. I went into business for myself and I set some goals. And I, uh, you know, as a young uh, entrepreneur, I, I had a couple, I, I had some car lots when I was a young man. Mm-hmm. I was a national marketing director, as you know, uh, yeah. with a, a, a network marketing company and, uh, you know, became a millionaire before I was 28 years old. And, but trying all kinds of different things. Now, you know, I got into real estate in my mid 20s. Um, and, you know, at that time, you know, started to really set goals there. But, you know, you know, my mom, I still remember my mom saying to me, you know, Terry was a guy that would just not give up. And, you know, one of the things that I talk to people about in, in, in any of the seminars that I do is that one of the reasons I see for failure is that people quit too soon. They may set right. goals. They may right. go to a program or read a book or something, and they, they set a goal, but they quit too soon. So what we need to do when talking about secrets of or secrets to success is why do people quit too soon? Mm-hmm. Because what they do is they let certain things interrupt their pattern. Mm-hmm. And that may be, uh, you know, whether they're on a diet plan or they're, you know, they're working towards a goal in business and something happens, no matter matter what happens, you cannot quit. So if you set a goal and it's simply a goal based on purpose and it's purpose inside, that you have a purpose to be the very best that you can be, uh, whether that's at your job or a sport that you play or, or uh, you know, starting a business, you will succeed, but you can't quit. I'm going to have an interesting question I have, I think, is uh, what do you do? When you feel yourself slipping, because you're a human being. Yes. I and mean, I know you're 24 yes. 7. I mean, anytime well, I see you, you're very motivated, but you're a human being, and I'm sure there are those moments because you're a family man, you have children, yes. lovely yes. wife. I mean, you, you, your life is very complete, but there are moments when you probably slip. What do you do to kind of retract yourself? Well, you know, essentially, I take myself back to how I felt when I was. Um, being very successful at something. So, you know, in life, there are always those curveballs or hardballs that are going to get thrown our way that are going to make us think, you know, is this really worth it? Should I continue? Um, and, you know, you, you may not be feeling good that day or you're feeling down about something. So what I do is I put myself in a state of mind and I take myself back to that state of mind as to how I felt when things were going very well for me and, and uh, how I felt. Uh, you know, exercise is a great thing to talk about because um, let, let's face it, how many of you have started an exercise program or a diet yeah. program and, and felt really fantastic? Yeah. And, man, this is amazing. 
and uh, you know you set that goal that you're going to work out every day at four o'clock and you're going to uh, you know follow maybe a specific diet plan or a nutritional program and of course I'm using this as an example and then something a curveball gets thrown your way and you stop and then it's so hard to get started well you know what put yourself back to that place when you were either out for that run or out for that bike ride or whatever um, uh, exercise discipline you were doing and remember how good you felt and right. simply go back to it and if you go back to it you're going to continue to reinforce that feeling to where you're never going to stop and so that's what I always do is I will think of past successes that I've had and how I felt and um, see without failure there is no, no success, success. Without, so, without, uh, without right. uh, bad judgment there's so, no good judgment. So, so you know what go back to how you felt go back to that positive activity that positive pattern and you're going to put yourself right back into that positive mental state where you're going to feel great and away you go and and you know i was talking to one of my uh, uh, team members yesterday a fellow that uh, sells real estate is a member of the terry peranich team and you know he's having a tougher month month and i said you know you've been in the business with me for nine years you've been super successful you're a hall of fame award winner do you remember how you felt when you got the hall of fame do you remember how you felt even last month when you were going on the appointments and you were having success with customers i said what's changed you know um what pattern has changed well a simple a, a real simple uh a suggestion i made is you know look at yourself right now you're in a golf shirt or pardon me, golf shorts and a t-shirt. I said, put your suit back on. Get back here at 8.30 in the morning. And you know what? Sure enough, I saw him this morning, and there he was, 8.30 in the morning. He looked great. He had his cup of coffee. He was on the phone. Get back to, to those patterns of behavior that, that lead you to that path of success where you've had success before. Absolutely. Watching Inside Real Estate with real estate expert Terry Peranich. You can uh, connect with him directly by phone at 780-457-4777. There's also the Facebook fan page at Terry Peranich Team and also the website, www.peranich.com. And now we'll kind of focus a little bit on real estate, but again, I think it's a key to success. One of the things you've mentioned, and I think, I think this applies or can be applied in, in just about any facet of life or in any facet of business, is you like to talk about know your territory. Right. Know what you're doing. Share that. Well, with me. know what you're doing, meaning, I mean, if you're going to do something, mm -hmm. um, you know, I made a decision um, uh, a little over a year ago to lose 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. Now, that was not easy when, you know, you have a lifestyle that I have and, and you're very, very busy. And that meant now eating so many times a day. Uh, that meant changing my exercise protocol, mm -hmm. and uh, but I had a clear vision that I was going to own this. I knew what to do, and 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 no matter what happened, nobody could take this away from me. And so what I did is I just focused on it, and uh, I, I ate those meals at the same time every day. I worked out at the same time every day. Some days, three times a week, it was twice a day. But no matter what, that was a number one priority in my life. I made it an appointment in my day, mm -hmm. where years ago, you know, when I did become a little bit overweight and I was pushing in my real estate business so hard, um, you know, all of a sudden I'd start talking to somebody or I'd start doing something and all of a sudden that was eating into my workout time and um, uh, then, oh, okay, well, I'll just work out tomorrow. Well, each day that passes that you don't take ownership of what you truly want and believe in, it gets harder and harder to get that back. Right. So, you know what, it's it's no different than marketing. Um, you know, in marketing, I chose to absolutely dominate certain areas. So I became an expert in those areas, I know exactly what's going on in those areas, and it became such a purpose and passion to own those areas from a marketing perspective, but in all areas of life, whether it's, you know, your personal relationships, um, you know, your fitness level, uh, you know, maybe you, you've always wanted to start a business and you've wanted to, you know, tell that mean boss, uh, you know, you wanted to tell that mean boss, you're no longer going to work there anymore. You know what? You have one life to live. So live with passion. It's okay to be successful. Yep. And I say this in my seminars, how many of you are not truly living the life you want to live? Mm -hmm. And, 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 you know, quarter of the hands go up and I said, no, really guys, let's, let's talk about this. It's okay to pursue your dreams, but you see, sometimes you just need that little push, and you have to be basically prioritize what's most important to you. So um, I want everybody to take ownership of their goals and their dreams and simply just go out and do it. I think it's the little things that matter. I think quite often when people set a goal, it's a very huge, huge goal, and I think 
It's the little steps. If, if one is, even Michael. if it's a half step, and you did a little thing when you first started where you focused, like I remember you saying, uh, you get up in the morning and, and get 7.30 in the morning, you'd go in, and you would call every morning, you would call the listings it, that expired. Expired. Well, and one think about thing. it. And you know something? So when I first started in the real estate business, I would. there's three types of goals. Small goals, intermediary goals, and goals that are so outrageous Mm -hmm. Um, You know, you think, how did that person or how did they do that when you hear this like little basketball team in Indiana, Hoosiers, how did they win, you know, the the, the state championship championship with, you know, eight players from this small little town? Well, it all started with a small goal. It started with a dream. And, you know, Mike, when I used to go into the office in the morning and everybody said, well, you can't call people at 730 in the morning. I had a small goal to call 10 of them every day and I would make 50 of these calls a week and all of a sudden you know I'm rookie of the year and I'm you know uh, number one in the office and people are going well how did you do it because I did the same thing at the same time every single day and um, one of the things that I've done from a goal setting perspective is that you know I set a lot of intermediary goals and once I hit those intermediary goals a lot of the time a big goal just happens but you see I always keep my eye on the ball okay and uh uh, you know, it, it's one of those things that it's easy to, to get distracted, but I'm a firm believer in checklists. I'm like an expert pilot. I'm not a pilot, but every day at the end of the day, I've accomplished nine or 10 things on my checklist. Right. And at the end of a Friday, there's 50 or 60 items that have been accomplished. And by accomplishing that, I will not go home until those goals are accomplished. And early in my career, I learned that if I didn't accomplish something, Often at the end of the day, I would feel almost like a bit of a failure. I I felt like I let myself down. Mm -hmm. So if you're out there and, you know, you you have dreams and aspirations, start by saying, I'm going to I'm going to set three small goals on a daily basis and I'm going to check them off. And I still use a Franklin planner. You can do it on a Blackberry or or an iPhone or an iPad or whatever you want. But how good are you going to feel at the end of the day when you go home and you see those check marks. Proof this is pudding. this is proof in the pudding. Now this is simple goal setting stuff. Yeah. But you know what? Sometimes we have to get back to it. And if you get back to the basics, mm-hmm. come back to the basics, you will you will turn your life around. I think the other thing that if if, if I was to, if someone asked me what what do you think Terry Peranich's key to, or one of his keys to success, I would put it in this form: If you surround yourself with excellence, you cannot help but achieve excellent results. And that's where you develop team. And I think a lot of people. F- sometimes fail to see the opportunity in the people around them that they can connect to in order to advance their goals. Well, together, everyone achieves more. That's the true word of a team. But, you know, even if you're, you know, if you're in a, um, an environment that maybe you're not happy with, have a look at that environment and say, what could I do to make this environment better? What could I do to empower others? So we all make this situation better for ourselves right. because everybody out there can achieve uh, their dreams by setting small intermediary, uh, intermediary and, and it'll, it'll equate into big goals. But I know that even when I became a real estate investor, um, you know, people would say, well, yeah, you can buy a couple properties, but then the bank won't give you any more money. And to a certain degree, there's some truth to that. So you have to be innovative, creative to do what it takes. I've been a real estate investor for over 20 years, and I buy real estate all the time. And and I've met several people that would say the same thing. And now they are people from all walks of life who are now multimillionaires because I simply said, yes, you can. You can do it. Don't worry about if, if you're, you, know, you don't have any more credit left, we're going to find you ways to continue to be successful. Okay, last question is, what would you say was a defining moment for yourself that, is, that has sort of propelled your, your motivation in your life? What was one thing that happened? I mean, I'm sure there are a few things that have happened. But if you think back, uh, well, actually, it could be at any particular point in time in your life. Oh, I can tell you exactly. See. Okay. Um, you know, in my early teens, I... Uh, you know, I remember, you know, dating a girl a long time ago, and uh, she had dated a guy who, uh, this is kind of a funny story, but, uh, you know, I was always a very competitive guy in, in sports. Um, you know, my parents, you know, never made more than $40,000 a year. I got the best parents ever, you know, still in the same house, uh, you know, in the east end of town. And um, But, you know, I didn't have any real, like, let's say, you know, successful business role models around me, and I... 
Um, and I remember, you know, dating this gal and she would talk about this guy that she used to date and, you know, his parents had all this money and, you know, there were these, you know, young guys that, you know, their parents had money, but they, you know, they didn't. And, and, uh, and he used to bug me beyond belief Mm because these guys used to, you know, you know, act like such hot shots. And, and, uh, um, I made a decision at a young age that no matter what, I was going to become my own man, my own businessman, my, my, you know, I was going to become a great entrepreneur, but I had that drive and, and, you know, I made a decision to pay attention to detail, work harder than the next guy and always play to win. And, uh, you know, sometimes people will say, you know, you're, you're, you're Terry, you're way too competitive. I'm competitive in a really good way. You know, um, I love to help other people. I love to empower other people. I help to, uh, I love to, to see other people become successful and, and I'll do whatever it takes to help them. But it, those were some defining moments for me when I saw kind of how these guys treated me because I didn't have any money. And, and I, you know, I said, that's never going to happen to me. And I think, too, watching my, my dad, you know, he worked hard at, at several things and, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, you know, he tried his best. But, I, you know, I kind of associated some pain to, to watching some of those struggles. And I said, I, I was not not going to to get into maybe some of the uh uh you know things that he got into not that they were bad or anything but what i'm saying is um i associated pain to to maybe not having any money i you know right. i associated some pain to that and and it and it affected me so i made a decision that 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 wasn't going to happen to me the keys to success that's what we've been talking about today and terry peranich is a, is a, a, a an excellent example of pursuing and taking steps forward and making goals. And I think that that's a really important thing to remember is, is that you can do that and you don't necessarily have to do that alone. Terry Peranich has built a team that he works with and I think a great example of how one can, by surrounding yourself with success, you can achieve success as well. You can contact him directly at 780-457-4777. Uh, post any comments about this show or any of the other shows that uh, are on Fuse Logic TV at Facebook fan page at Terry Peranich Team and also visit the website at www dot peranich dot com you've been watching inside real estate with real estate expert terry peranich i'm your host michael crichton